The First Lady and Minister of Education and Sports, Mrs. Janet Museveni, has launched the Education Plus Initiative in Uganda, making Uganda the first East African country to launch this initiative. The Education Plus Initiative, which is a high-profile and high-level political advocacy drive to accelerate actions and investments for adolescent girls, was conceived by UNAID, UNESCO, UNFPA, UNICEF, and UN Women in 2019. It purposes to stimulate renewed commitment by countries in East and South African regions towards empowerment of adolescent girls, young women, and boys to end HIV and AIDS, gender-based discrimination, and violence. The initiative was launched at Mengo Senior School under the theme Repositioning Education Plus Within the HIV AIDS Response at the Center of a Resilient, Sustainable, integrated and person-centered approach to health and tackling gender inequalities in Uganda. She said that girls as well as their communities and countries reap multiple social and economic benefits from the girl child's completion of secondary school education. Unquote. A nation that builds its morals and values on commandments of the Lord and instills them in the next generation has hope for a bright future. Now, having said that, I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that any effective effort designed to empower young people must start with a family. Positive parenting, that's what we must talk and discuss with our communities. Positive parenting. Mrs. Museveni noted that in 2021, during the long closure of the economy occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic, 18% of the annual births in Uganda resulted from teenage pregnancies, mostly in districts in North, Central, Busoga, Unyoro, Lango, and Toro, with the West Nile region registering the highest number of teenage pregnancies. Together, let us ensure that not one child more becomes part of these statistics. As the older generation, this is our God-given obligation, and we must take it on. The Education Plus initiative complements the ongoing high-level campaign against teenage pregnancy, codenamed Protect the Girl, Save the Nation, which is co-championed by the First Lady, the Vice President, and the Prime Minister. She informed the nation that after various consultations with key stakeholders, including the mothers and women leaders, Cabinet has guided on the management of teenage mothers in primary and secondary schools. Among the guidelines, the pregnant girls will stay out of school and first give birth. She is also required to go on a mandatory leave of one year after giving birth before readmission to school which is in the interest of the teen mother and the baby. For candidate classes that is P7, S4, and S6, it was decided as mandatory for pregnant girls in candidate classes to sit for their national examinations if they can. Anne Gisuku Songwe, the UNAIDS Regional Director for Eastern and Southern Africa, hailed Uganda for her supportive policies, guidelines, and laws that promote access to education and health for adolescent girls and young women. The United Nations Resident Coordinator, Ms. Susan Ngogi Namondo, noted that educating the girl child is the only way of transforming Uganda. She reiterated their commitment on behalf of the UN family to support the government and people of Uganda, especially girls, through the implementation of a joint UN Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework 2021-2025. The ceremony was also attended by Honorable Ministers of State for Kampala and Metropolitan Affairs, Kabuye Chofa Togabye and Sarah Mateke Nyirabasichi, who is in charge of Youth and Children Affairs. Others were head of UN agencies, ambassadors, and members of diplomatic corps, religious leaders, school administrators, students, representatives from various schools across the country and their teachers, among others, and visiting delegations from the Kingdom of Eswatini and Namibia. Chris Lanamara,